Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the heart of civil rights in public spaces, where personal freedom and society's rules often clash. This video is all about the right to film in public, which can sometimes hit a gray area between the law and what people feel comfortable with. We're taking you to Westminster, where something as simple as recording in a public spot turns into a story packed with tension, curiosity, and a push for respect. Through real interactions with both the public and police, We'll dig into the tricky balance of standing up for your rights while navigating what others think and feel. Get ready for a deep look into what it's like to assert your rights, the challenges you might face, and the impact it can have on how we view public space and personal responsibility. No, no English. But you just understood what I just said, that don't make sense. No English. You're stupid, like, man. What do you mean, no? I just understood what I just said. No comprendo. Yeah? Right there. Yeah, they're sitting here recording us right now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're right here. Yeah, we're stupid, huh? I'm not as stupid as you are, fool. <laughs> 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 You're about to get taught a lesson, yeah. homie. Who? What? You guys are about to get taught a lesson. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What lesson are we getting taught? And you're gonna do the walk of shame. Walk of shame. Yeah. Yeah, we have a reason, homie. Stupid, you stupid. Come and do it, fool. Come and do it, man. There you go, Westminster Police Department. Did you hear what Did he you said? guys call? Yeah. Did no, you I think that DMV called. Okay. Um, can I get a driver's license for any of you guys? Am I driving? <laughs> okay, so what is it that They're you guys crazy. Are That's not your business. Are you going to sodomize me or something crazy. that you're putting on okay. your gloves? Let's go. Uh, that's what I thought. Walk away. Walk away. Yeah. Be a tyrant. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got, no, you, you got nothing, huh? Do that's called down. a walk of shame, daughter. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Bye, mama. You see, that's called a walk of shame. Now what? You guys oh, are about no, to do the walk of shame. <laughs> no, we're right here. Yeah, we're still real. We're right here. They left, right? You're doing, you're doing the stand of shame right now. You're doing the stand of shame. <laughs> so this is Westminster. She got her gloves again. That popo. It's a tyrant right here. So you're closing the street for nothing? This is the worst tyrant I've seen in the city. Okay. What a disgrace to the department. So anyways, can I help you, man? Are you gonna do a cavity check on me or something? All right, this is Westminster Police Department. You're live, so think twice what you're gonna do. What'd you say? We're live right now. So what did you say? Think twice if you're gonna do something dumb because you'll be liable for anything you do against my person. Are you challenging me? No. Okay. Yeah. There'll be a litigation if you do something that you're not supposed to, which means a lawsuit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. So. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. My sergeant's here, so he'll he'll talk to you. Are we being detained? Huh? No. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's get the other unit. Well, let's get. Let's wait for his sergeant. Okay. We're free to go. We're free to stay. We don't want to make people think that we're running away. So what's crack a lacking? What's going on, guys? I don't know. You tell me. Why do we keep getting called out here on you guys? No, no. People fear two cameras, I guess. It doesn't seem like you guys are doing anything wrong to me. You got a right to do what you're doing. So thank you. Why do we keep getting called out here on you? That's that's the issue. Well, as, as the people, I mean, we're just filming, you know? We're a film crew and, I don't know. What are you guys filming for? Do you mind me? Probably because I'm brown, this care because I'm brown. Never know. So. That question or topic never came up, but. Well, you never know. In this day and age, with the 911. Okay. What's up with the vest? Oh, you know, in this day and age, too. So. 
Who do you guys work for? Myself. Who do you work for? What's that? Myself. Who do you work for? It's pretty obvious who I work for. Oh, pretty obvious who you work for? That's who you work for? Mm -hmm. There's the oh. people you work for. For me, no, you cool. work for me. So, here's the deal. There is no deal, but go ahead. You guys can do whatever you want. Thank you. As long as you don't create a disturbance. We're not we, creating a disturbance. If we have to keep getting called out here. It's not going to be for us, so don't even say that. There's not going to be what? There's not going to be for us, so don't don't even say that. Oh, well, we're going to get that in trouble. Because we've already been called out here several times. But that's well, it's on okay. Them, that's on them. That's, that's not enough. You should charge them for misuse of 911, not me. It's actually not. Well, it doesn't fit the uh, elements well, of a crime at I all. guess so. No. Well, this doesn't fit the well, elements yeah. of a crime we as do, well. Right? So. Listen, you guys have the right to, Thank you. to do everything that you're doing right now. Yep. All I'm asking is a favor. Yes, okay? go ahead. You do me a favor and I'll do you a Maybe, favor. Maybe, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. If you're going to go inside the DMV or if you're going to yeah. go around filming, whatever mm -hmm. it is that you're going to do, just try to be as inconspicuous as you can. You I'm guys not, aren't breaking the law. I'm not concealing myself, so. I'm not asking you to conceal yourself. No, I'm not saying. I know you're not and asking. And if we do it kind of like as if we're hiding, they're going to think that we're trying to spy on them and we're, we're trying to do something. Nothing so against the law different? with recording in a public place. Exactly. Plane. So yeah. why do we have to be uh, 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 kind of like on a low so people won't get triggered? We can't stop how they feel or, or what they do. You should problem, know that. I mean, the, the same thing is, you see us doing right now, that's all we're doing. We ain't, we ain't talking to nobody. We're, we're not asking questions. People are approaching us. They're actually exactly. disturbing my so peace. they're the ones doing it. So why yeah. would we get in trouble if they keep on calling you guys? Okay. You guys doesn't that make sense? You guys are missing the point, okay? I have no problem with you guys doing what yeah. you're doing. All I'm asking is, unless you have business inside the DMV, I had a business. can't stop you from going in there. Yeah. I'm just asking you to eliminate the phone calls from them to us. So I can we, stop them. So we don't have to keep bothering you guys. I mean, I can stop them. I mean, people's fears, they'll call you. I mean, that's... Okay, that's we're that. not getting anywhere here. What's you guys' plan when we leave here? I don't know. Maybe stay five more minutes and then leave. After you guys leave. You guys got any questions for us? No, sir. Thank you. All right. You're good to go. All right. I'm good to stay, too. Thank you. Come back soon, though. Appreciate your business. The incident brings to the forefront critical questions about the legal and constitutional rights surrounding public filming. The person filming, exercising their right to document public spaces, encounters varied reactions from the public and law enforcement, each interaction shedding light on the legal principles that guide our communal life. At the core of this analysis is the First Amendment of the United States Constitution, which protects the freedom of speech and expression. Courts have consistently interpreted this protection to extend to the recording of public officials, including police officers, in public spaces where individuals have a right to be. This right is not absolute. It is balanced against concerns for privacy, security, and public order. However, the legality of filming in public areas, especially for purposes of accountability and transparency, is well established. The initial resistance from the public and the inquiries by law enforcement officers underscore a common misunderstanding about the scope of this right. The law is clear. Individuals do not need to just justify their reason for filming in public spaces, nor are they generally required to provide identification without reasonable suspicion of a crime. This principle is pivotal in asserting the public's oversight role over public servants, fostering a culture of transparency and accountability. The varied public reactions, from discomfort to curiosity, reflect the societal tension between privacy expectations and the realities of public visibility. In a digital age where cameras are ubiquitous, navigating these expectations requires a nuanced understanding of privacy rights, which do not extend broadly into public spaces where individuals voluntarily enter the public eye. The law enforcement response in the video aimed at verifying the legality of the filming while ensuring no laws are breached highlights the delicate balance officers must maintain. They must protect the constitutional rights of individuals while ensuring public safety and order. This balance is critical in law enforcement procedures, where respect for civil rights must be harmonized with the duties to enforce the law and protect the community. De-escalation techniques, as showcased in the video, are essential tools for both the filmer and law enforcement. These strategies help manage potentially volatile situations, ensuring that the exercise of rights does not devolve into unnecessary conflict. The importance of these techniques cannot be overstated, as they contribute to the peaceful assertion of rights and the maintenance of public order. And there we have it, a journey through the streets of Westminster that brings us face to face with the realities of public filming.
It's a world where legal rights intersect with human emotions, where understanding meets apprehension, and where every moment holds the potential for conflict or connection. What you've witnessed today is more than just a series of encounters. It's a dialogue about freedom, respect, and the shared spaces we navigate daily. Now, it's your turn. What do you think about the actions of the officers, the reactions of the public, and the stance of the person behind the camera? Were there moments of empathy, instances of misunderstanding, or perhaps lessons in de-escalation that stood out to you? Dive into the comments section below and share your thoughts, experiences, and insights. Your voice is a vital part of this ongoing conversation about our rights, our responsibilities, and the society we are shaping together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, keep questioning, keep understanding, and most importantly, keep asserting your rights with respect and awareness. So folks, today we're diving into some big questions about the right to film in public and what the law really says about it. In this video, you'll see someone exercising their right to record in public, facing all kinds of reactions from people around and law enforcement. Each interaction shows how our legal rights play out in everyday life. At the heart of this is the First Amendment, which protects our freedom of speech and expression. Courts have ruled time and again that this includes the right to record public officials, yes, that means police officers, when they're in public spaces. But of course, this right has its limits. It has to be balanced with privacy, safety, and public order. Still, the right to record for transparency and accountability is well established. In the video, you'll notice some people are uncomfortable, and officers have questions. This happens a lot mostly because there's some misunderstanding about what the law actually allows. To be clear, people don't need to explain why they're filming in public or show ID unless there's reasonable suspicion of a crime. This right is key for holding public officials accountable and creating a culture of transparency. People's reactions vary, from feeling uneasy to being curious, showing the tension between privacy and public visibility, especially in today's world full of cameras. Law enforcement in the video works to verify that filming is allowed while making sure no laws are broken. Officers have a tough job balancing our rights with public safety. This is why de-escalation techniques shown in the video are so important for everyone involved. They help keep situations calm so that rights can be asserted without things getting out of hand. So there you have it. A day in Westminster where filming in public brings up questions about freedom, respect, and the spaces we share. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Did the officers handle it well? How did the public react? And what about the person filming? Did anything stand out to you? Jump into the comments to share your thoughts, experiences, or anything you noticed. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, stay curious, stay respectful, and keep standing up for your rights. This incident highlights serious concerns about police conduct and whether officers are truly abiding by the laws they're meant to enforce. Police officers are expected to be the protectors of the law, setting a positive example for the community. When they themselves violate the law, it can deeply erode public trust. Incidents like this underline just how vital it is for citizens to hold law enforcement accountable. Recording and monitoring police actions are essential tools to ensure that officers are responsible for their behavior. Moreover, this situation sheds light on the pressing need for enhanced police training. Officers should be equipped with the skills and knowledge to handle challenging situations without resorting to unnecessary force. The officer in this incident didn't provide a clear explanation for his actions, which raises serious questions about the adequacy of his training. Proper training is crucial to prevent such incidents and ensure that officers are prepared to manage difficult scenarios effectively and peacefully. Another important takeaway from this incident is the importance of civilians being well informed about their rights when interacting with law enforcement. The individuals involved rightfully questioned the officers' actions and made it clear they were live streaming the event, which is a powerful way to document what really happened. It's crucial for everyone to know that they have the right to ask questions and seek explanations from police officers. Being informed and assertive about your rights can play a significant role in preventing situations from escalating unnecessarily. Feel free to share your thoughts on the officers' actions in the comments below. If you found this content valuable, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Also, be sure to visit the channel and show some support for the individual who stood up for their rights. You can find all the relevant links in the description. Thanks for watching.